degeneracy. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get into and ask for the holder of degeneracy. A look of disgust will befall the worker you find before you. Ask once more, but be wary as not to ask a third time. A short time after the second request, the worker will hand you an old, rusted, inhuman key. Don't hesitate. Physical contact with this key for more than ten seconds has been known to result in vegetation. It has been shown to be safe if the key is kept in pockets, or, for the quick-witted, on a chain around the neck. The worker will point to a long, ominous corridor that, even from where you stand, reeks of death. The feeling a seeker like yourself may get when looking on this hallway could be described in a simpler word as horror. The walls and floor are covered in what looks like feces, and it seems that there has also been a freshly applied layer of blood. Smells of methane and metal will fill your lungs and nostrils, but do not hold your breath. The Degenerates will find you in this impossibly dark, yet clear hall, and will not hesitate to tear you limb from limb. While you walk, footsteps not of your own will echo throughout the corridor. You will hear the mixed laughter of a small child and a grown man, but do not look behind you if you enjoy the gift of sight. Upon reaching the end of the corridor, you will find a door made of a material not far from tinted glass. Through it one can see silhouettes. Knock on the door twice, and if you're lucky, a silhouette will respond by writing backwards on the glass. Find a way in. If you were to look closely, you could tell that there is no keyhole for the key, but the last period, Written seems to be where one would be. If you are bright and understand this, then you will be able to unlock the door. But remember, don't hold the key for too long. Once the key has been turned, it will wither in your hand and the door will open. Inside is a bright white room, the silhouette nowhere to be seen. In its place is a man, with his eyes and mouth sewn shut, his head strapped into the headpiece of the electric chair he is bound to. Do not speak anything other than one question. Ask, how does it come to be that a person's soul is so degenerate? The thing before you will rip through its stitched eyelids to stare deep into your soul. Paralyzation will occur as you come to understand the story of his sexual deviancy and quest for unspeakable pleasure. With hands and mouth still bound, the once human will slowly fade from the chair, leaving only a small faded blue box with a matching blue key lying on top. The blue box may never leave your person. If it is left anywhere, with it will be your five senses. This box and key together are object 243 or 538. Bring the pieces together to tear the world apart. 